Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate another paracord bracelet, this time the Cyclone Wrap. It was designed by JD Lanson and it is quite a neat design. I like it especially because it is fairly round and compact, meaning that it is very comfortable to wear. If we take a look at the supplies needed for a 6 inch weave, we're going to need two pieces of paracord of different colors, I used about 4 feet of each. You're also going to need a bracelet buckle, for this style of a bracelet I recommend a 3 8 inch bracelet buckle. You're also going to need a bracelet jig, which is optional, a lacing needle and finally some scissors and a lighter. With these supplies ready, let's begin. So first let's set up our bracelet. I have attached both pieces of my buckle onto my bracelet jig and I have joined my two pieces of paracord into one longer piece. I did this using the many method, which is in my opinion the most secure way of joining together two pieces of paracord. You can simply melt them together, but that is not nearly as secure. We're now going to attach this longer piece of paracord onto this buckle end using a lark's head knot. Take the two ends and feed them through the bottom of this buckle end. Pull on the two ends until you only have a small bite remaining. So like this. Now feed the two ends through. Adjust your knot so it looks the way you want it to. I'm going to make it of a single color just to make it look a bit better. Like this and we can now move to the other buckle end. We're going to take the left end and create a hitch here at the top. So go through the top of your buckle end. Make sure that this cord is tight. Then go over the top and through the loop we created. Then take the other end, again go through the top of the buckle, pull on the cord so this one is tight, then go over the top and with the end go through this loop here. With this we have set up our bracelet. Now that we have set up our bracelet, we can begin weaving. Pick up the right end and go over the top over the two middle cords. Then turn back and go under the two middle cords. Pick up the end and go through the two middle cords just above where you went under. Tighten up as firmly as you can. Pick up the left end and go over the two middle cords. Then back under, under the two middle cords. Then through the two middle cords, just above where you went under before.
pick up the right hand again, and again go over the top, over the two middle chords, then under the two middle chords, then with the end of this chord, go through the middle, just above where you went under before. Then tighten up firmly. By tightening up firmly, you're going to get the best result for this bracelet. Pick up the left hand again, go over the top, over two, then back under, under two. Pick up the end and go through the middle, just above where you went under before. Then tighten firmly. Pick up the right hand again, go over the top, over the two middle chords, then back under, under the two middle chords, then through the two middle chords, just above where you went under before. As you can see, this is very simple once you get used to it. One more time, above the two middle chords, then under the two middle chords, then through the two middle chords, just above where you went under before. Tighten up firmly every time and you're going to get a nice looking bracelet. Continue all the way down and we're going to finish the bracelet once we get to the very end. You will want to weave the bracelet until it becomes very tight and almost impossible to weave any further. For the last section I use a lacing needle to push my cord through. And with this the last section is complete. All there's left to do is to cut the two ends here at the bottom, melt them and flatten them out a bit. This is going to keep your bracelet from unraveling and it does a pretty good job. Guys, thank you for joining me in this tutorial. I hope it was useful. Thank you and see you next time.